well, my vision is just to keep it the way it is. Um, just keep on driving forward with uh, not changing ourselves or what we're trying to put on, especially at American Legion Post 82 for Hump Tongue Tuesdays, and that's just keeping it authentic and keeping it to uh, you know the sounds of country music that it used to be, and not something that's like being brought it into a different sound that you know 16th Avenue has changed it into and took it over radio. We, we hope to just be like authentic as possible and hopefully other people catch on to make that still a popular thing down the road because it should be you know it's it's stuck around for this long to keep people inspired you know like there's some truth to it and some like mass feelings with like that older country sound you know it's, it's the, you know the people's music and that's just what we need to carry on through through life instead of it making it just be about a beach party wearing cuckoo shell necklaces and cowboy hats like there's you know there's so much more to it you know? I believe with uh, keeping things simple is exactly the way it should be you know keeping things simple is leaves you a perfect guideline to keep your shows and keep your music you know you keep the, the choruses and the ver verses and sometimes a bridge you know as simple as can be instead of uh, you know make it something where people can't understand it. And that's a thing with country music, I feel, is like it's something that everyone understands, so it's it's something, you know, simple. There's not so much to it where you have to look into it. It's, you hear one song and you immediately feel what he's singing, you know. You can't tell me there's one person who's heard Love Sick Blues for the first time and was like, oh, damn, like, actually feel that. Even if they're not into country music or not, you hear that for the first time, you know, that's... It's just simple lyrics, and um, you know, it's it's just putting all the feelings just right there, instead of having to explain some broad, huge thing. Keeping it in the way where everyone helped out each other, everyone played music with each other, everyone played each other's songs, everyone was more of a community thing instead of who's playing this show tonight, who's on this bill, oh. You know, we haven't been asked to do this or blah, blah, blah. Like, it should be a thing where everyone's involved instead of just, you know, going after each other, trying to be the, the number one person in the traditional country music scene. Because it's not about that. It's supposed to be about bringing everyone together and sharing each other's music. Because that's also how you're going to be able to popularize your own songs by, you know, having other people play them and, and just knowing that you're being sincere with other folks. I think that's a major part with country music, you know, and bringing that traditionalism back. And, you know, you look back at the days of uh, all the old Opry stars, you know, it was Ernest Tubb who, you know, allowed all these different musicians to come to town who didn't have a chance anywhere else. We gave them a chance with the Midnight Jamboree. Next thing you know, they're playing the Grand Ole Opry the next weekend. You know, that happened with so many folks with from Kitty Wells to the Wilburn brothers to Loretta Lynn you know it's like it's folks like that you know that kept it going and I hope that we're doing the same thing by you know bringing the community together and bringing it to a more popular section now because there's more people involved instead of just one group or one person stuff that just makes me happy and excited um, could be anything musically or anything visually, just stuff that excites me and stuff that, you know, keeps me driving.